What's going on guys, my name's Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. In this one I'll be showing you all how to complete the Act 4 story mission Bad Signal as a solo player. Now we all know that the season 1 update was definitely not very solo friendly and I know a lot of you guys have been struggling with the giant worm boss fight at the end. In this video I'll show you guys how to easily complete the mission as a solo player. Before we begin, I quickly want to thank U4GM for sponsoring the video. U4GM is a professional Call of Duty boosting service and they'll help you unlock all the rare schematics and the new classified schematics. They'll even go in and help you unlock the Borealis camo. If you guys are interested in this, then go ahead and click the link in the description below and use my code HIP for 5% off. So before we begin, there's a few items I recommend bringing in. So an aether tool, either rare or better, so your weapon deals more damage so you can complete the boss fight a bit quicker. Two ethereum crystals will help speed things up by allowing you to get through the first and second pack a punch right away when you load in. A few perks I'd recommend bringing in would be stamina up, speed cola, deadshot daiquiri, and juggernaut. Bring in a high power weapon that has a decent amount of ammo, I opted for the whole 556 assault rifle but take whichever you prefer now for your second weapon you could either bring in a crossbow with thermite bowl tips or the rgl like i did you'll see why this is important later on in this guide decoy grenades are a must-have and even though they got slightly nerfed they're definitely still the best tactical you can bring in. In terms of lethals, you could bring throwing knives, but I usually prefer Semtex as they'll allow you to take out large groups of zombies with one throw. For your field upgrade, I'd recommend using Aether Shroud so you can go invisible if you get crowded by zombies and you can safely run away. Once you've got everything, it's time to infill. Alright, so once you arrive in Urzikstan, it's time to make some money. I'd recommend just rushing through the Deliver Cargo missions in the Tier 2 zone. Our objective here is to get our main weapon to Pack Punch Tier 3 and our RGL to Pack Punch Tier 1. If you have Ethereum Crystals, this will of course make this part a lot quicker. If you don't have any crystals, you'll need to earn a total of 35,000 Essence or 12 Tier 2 contracts to get your weapon to Pack Punch Tier 3 and your RGL to Pack Punch Tier 1. I'd also recommend having a self-revive equipped and bringing along one or two extras with you which you might find while completing the contract. If you want to spend some extra time here before going in, you could also buy two or three sentry guns, but it's definitely not necessary, it'll only speed things up a tiny bit. Once you've got your weapon to pack a punch tier 3 and your RGL to pack a punch tier 1, it's time to make our way to the bad signal mission location on the map. You'll find it right outside the tier 3 zone as shown on screen. Walk up to the triangular portal here and hold your interact button. Open up your map and hold Y on Xbox or Triangle on PlayStation to accept the mission and it will teleport you to the dark ether after a few seconds. Once you arrive in the mission area, you'll have four obelisks that you need to go to. You'll have to walk up to each of them and interact with them and kill a bunch of zombies to essentially feed the obelisk. Be aware you will have multiple zombies coming your way here including HVT so just be sure to take advantage of decoy grenades and use your semtexes to take out large groups of them at a time. Make sure that all the zombies you kill are close to the artifact to continue progressing. You shouldn't have too much difficulty during this part of the mission because you can always pop Aether Shroud and take advantage of all the ammo depots on the map so you pretty much have unlimited access to decoy grenades. Just be as careful as possible and keep in mind there's nothing wrong with running out of the area to quickly regenerate your health or to put a few plates on. Just don't take too long because there is a timer for this part and killing the giant worm will take a fair amount of time. After completing the fourth and final obelisk, it's time for the boss fight. Make your way over to this rift right here, which will shoot you up into the air and parachute over to the marked location. Just keep hovering over it and the worm boss will spawn. Fly towards the road right here and locate the zip to your north. This will allow you to get up to the catwalk as shown on screen. Now that you're up here, it's time to start shooting at the giant worm. You'll notice these glowing purple spots on the worm which are the critical hit spots so try your best to shoot at them. While you're up here the worm cannot shoot its laser at you, it can't grab you, and those annoying orbs it spits out won't attack you. 
You will, however, have a few zombies that run up on you from the left side, but that's no issue at all. Just turn and fire at them, and they'll even drop some ammo and plates, which is awesome. You'll notice that the worm boss sometimes dips underground for a bit. That's when you take out the RGL or your thermite tipped crossbow and shoot at the beach. The explosion or burning effect will cause the worm to come back up and then you can just keep shooting at it. Now if you do happen to run out of ammo just jump down, there's an ammo depot right there on the bridge so go ahead and hit that, get all the ammo back and then run back up to the road, take the zip and keep fighting him from the catwalk. If the worm boss manages to pick you up while you're going for ammo, just keep shooting and spam your parachute button which is A on Xbox or X on PlayStation by default. What happens is that the worm boss spits you out and usually you get downed by the fall damage. But if you spam the parachute button, you'll open up your parachute when he spits you out and you'll be completely safe. In case some of the orbs glitch through the catwalk a bit, just look around and fire at them. This should only happen once or twice during the boss fight at most. Anyways guys, that's how I completed the worm boss fight as a solo player and successfully completed Bad Signal Act 4 story mission. Hope this guide was helpful to you, if it was then please be sure to hit that like button and comment with any suggestions for future videos. Please subscribe to show your support to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll keep some of the gameplay footage right here so you guys can actually see me finishing off the boss. But anyways, hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are and as always, goodbye.